Well, I'm married. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, I'm newly married, so uh, I guess that's that. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, no, I, I have a lovely new wife, and uh, she's, uh, she's not new, she's like 40. <laughs> but she is awesome. Prairie girl, born in Winnipeg, uh, grew up in Saskatchewan, now lives in Alberta, so a very prairie girl. Uh, and I mean it in a physical sense as well. She's a very prairie girl. She's uh, not a lot of variation in the topography of this <laughs> area here, you see. Even when we were dating, she was very, uh, very it, was, it was almost like traveling the prairies, you know? I mean, the journey started with a kiss, and I saw where I wanted to go. I mean, it was right in front of me, but it seemed to take a really, really long time to get there, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was a new joke. Anyway, uh, but uh, she's wonderful. She's beautiful, you know, very beautiful, very transparent. I wish you could see her, but she's very, um, <laughs> Very beautiful. You know Cindy Crawford, the one with the mole right here? Everybody goes, that's Cindy Crawford. She's beautiful. My wife, way more beautiful. She's got moles. <laughs> everywhere. I swear to God, you hold her, it's like bubble wrap. You know what I'm saying? You just, oh, God. And sometimes you can't help it. They just pop, 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 you know? No, I don't pop her, her moles. I don't. Don't judge me. Again. But uh, what, uh, you know, she's, she's great, she's smart, she thinks I'm smart, she's always called me a genius, you know, way to go, genius, you know. <laughs> nice turn, genius, you know, and way to spot me, genius. Whoops. It's almost like you know it's new. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> What else? Uh, she's, uh, she is very smart. She went to, she's the one that went to university, and I didn't go uh, anywhere. I went to grade nine, and uh, so, <laughs> so I did. So she takes me to all her little posh parties with her professors, and all holding their glasses like this, and oh, 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 oh. And they know I only took, I went to grade nine, so they're always like pestering me, you know? Like, so what do you think about Nietzsche? Do you read Nietzsche? I'm holding my beer, like, no. Read Arche. <laughs> got a friend, Red J. <laughs> but uh, she is she is the love of my life, you know. And the funny thing is, uh, the weird thing is that uh, she uh, won the gold medal in uh, the nineteen in 1981 for uh, Canada in water polo. Yeah, gold medal winner, best in the world. So, yeah, so she's quite an athlete, right? And so it's hard to keep up to that, you know, because uh, I smoke, first of all. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I know about smoking. I mean, you know, I, you know why I started to smoke? Because I, I thought it looked, uh, I thought it would look cool, right? And now, I do. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, tr no, I'm trying to quit. But uh, it's hard, you know, because uh, I, I went to the gym, and everybody at the gym has, uh, has already been there for many, many years. So they have muscles everywhere. Like everywhere. It's like I can open that beer for you and it disappears behind the guy's back. Psst, there you go. Huh? Like, wow, that was impressive. That wasn't even a twist off. That's something. No, I'll use a glass. Thanks. That's fine. Yeah. And they're all dressed up in their spandex, you know, and I don't even know if I'm going to join. I went on a coupon, right? So I got my cutoff jeans, my rush t-shirt on, you know, my bandana, right? And I got my black socks and my sandals on, right? And I'm in the Nautilus area. You know what that is? It's the cables that are hooked up with all the weights. And, uh, and everything is different from the last time you've ever been. I swear to God, it's all like big chrome-plated plates. And there's these black spongy handles. And I don't even know what muscle group I'm working on. But I figure, what the hell, I'll find out tomorrow. You know, have you done, have you woke up in the morning? Ah, oh, jeez. I think I hurt my pecs. I don't, that's as much as I know, right? I'm so out of shape. The winter's coming up, and, and I'm just, uh, you know, uh, that's no good because I can't skate, right? I can't stop. So I figure I can't skate, you know? I hate people. I can skate, I just can't stop. It means you can't skate, okay? Stopping's part of skating. It's like saying, no, oh, I can drive a car, I just can't stop. You know? <laughs> 
There goes my house again. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? The, the little kids? Picture this. S stopping and skating is not only cool, it's sexy. You're on an outdoor rink, right? You know, and everybody's skating around, and all the girls get kind of tired, and they got their little white gloves on, they're drinking their little hot chocolates, and they're, they're standing on the outside of the boards, they're just watching the boys, right? And then little Johnny comes, you know, running up to, skating up real fast, and shh, right? And the little girl's like, Johnny, you got, you got your, the snow in my hot chocolate, you stupid! You get out of here, Johnny, you're stupid, I'm never talking to you anymore. I love Johnny. <laughs> oh, God. Because it's sexy. That's stop. Just be, shh. Ooh. Because there's nothing sexy about dragging your toe trying to slow down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ladies. Tried curling. Have you tried curling? One slippery shoe. That's a lot of fun, eh? Just, yeah. Ah, my pecs again. I don't know. Really? Oh, man. Great thing about curling is you can be having the wildest sexual fantasy going on in your head. I'm sure you know what I'm gonna, about to do. You know, and you can even verbalize your fantasy and your buddies don't even know what you're thinking, right? You throw the rock down, you're like, hurry, hurry, hard, hard. You got monkeys and midgets and whores in your head, right? <laughs> got a big orgy. I don't know why monkeys came first. <laughs> whores, midgets, and then sprinkling some monkeys or something, I don't know. But your eyes aren't even open, eh? You're just like, hurry, hard, hard. And your buddies don't know. They're just like, wow, he's right into this. <laughs> you can't get too descriptive, though, with your little, your little menage in your head, because then your buddies will catch on. You can't be throwing the rock down and going, hurry, hurry, hard, hard. Spank my ass. Call me daddy. Tweak my, oh, sorry. Oh, just sweep. Well, I did not. <laughs> I got a great ab workout. This is awesome. It's not like anything you've seen uh, anywhere on television. <laughs> no, I swear to God. You know, you know the late night TV shows and the late night commercials. You know, you've seen the uh, the ab uh, ab flexor, abtronic, abdominizer, abtastic. That's not a real one. I just made that up, but I think I'm going to call mine abtastic. You know what the abtronic is? That's the little. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can say that on CBC. I don't know if I can sue, but there, it's, a little, it's a little belt, and you put it on, uh, uh, you got a little battery in there, and you put it on your belly, and you put a little gel in your belly, and it sends electronic impulses into your ab muscles and flexes them for you. So you don't have to. No effort on your part whatsoever. You could be doing anything. You could be washing the dishes. I'm washing the dishes and working out at the same <laughs> Holy crap, that was a bad one. <laughs> Get this thing off me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have my hands in water. It's probably a bad idea. No, my ab workout's much different. Here's what you do. You get up in the morning and you brush your teeth. And you brush your tongue. That's how you get bad breaths, when you don't brush your tongue. You know what I'm talking about? Now, for those, you probably know this. For those of you who do brush your tongue, you'll know this. If you go too far back with a toothbrush, you hit that gag reflex. You know what I'm saying? You're just, uh, all right. Well, your ab muscles, they tense right up. Have you noticed that? No effort on your part whatsoever. So here's what I suggest you do. Stand in front of a full-length mirror every morning, completely naked. It's more fun for everybody that way. And do that like 40, 50 times. Just a <laughs> Awesome workout. And do that every other day. Don't do it every day. Because if you do it every day, there's a thing called muscle memory. And after about seven days of doing that every day, that gag reflex will kick in like a hiccup. And you don't want that. You'd be like, you know, hey, Larry, you want to go for a beer? Come on, buddy. Or you're at the bar. Hey, would you like to dance? No, you're not ugly. It's hard to convince a girl she's not ugly when you're gagging at her, you know? No, you're beautiful. Oh, I don't, I don't. You ever been at the bar and you're talking to a girl? Or a guy? Or it doesn't matter. No, no, it has to be a girl, sorry. So, just for the guys. Or the lesbians. Whatever. <laughs> but you're talking to a girl and uh, everything's going great and uh, she's digging you and you're digging her and everything's just fantastic, you know, and you think you, this is it. This, is, this could be it, right? 
and then you go to take a drink and uh, you can't find your straw. <laughs> you just feel like a total dink. <laughs> yeah, boy, that dress really looks nice on you. I better look better all balled up at a big ball on my bedroom floor. <laughs> <laughs> So, how about breakfast? Should I call you or nudge you? <laughs> okay, I'll wait here. You guys have been a very nice crowd. Thank you very much. Good night.